Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 2,105th edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. Good evening, traders. This 2,105th installment of these educational videos, and of course the education in these videos, is geared to the art of technical analysis. It's coming at you on a Monday night for trading on Tuesday. That would be May 19th, 2020. Traders, as you know, this is an extremely risky game, so this is not for everybody. It's not suitable for all accounts. Please know the risks behind this game. Put your stops in first. Never trade without them. And of course, never trade without money, unless it's earmarked to be lost, just in case that happens. So for you traders that understand the risks, let's get moving. Talk about risk. In fact, let's get moving. This video is geared for trading Monday night through Tuesday, right? Mostly through Tuesday into Monday night to Tuesday. However, last night, Sunday night, I came out in front of you and I said, you know what, traders? I like NASDAQ and I like gold, the metals more than anything. So for last night's trading, I decided I wouldn't go with NASDAQ I would go with gold, not silver, not platinum, not palladium, not copper, but I'd go with gold. So this is for trading on Monday, I decide on Sunday night. So had I gone with silver, this is what silver did on Monday. Right? Metal? Look at that. Nice fat run up. Great trade. Good job, silver. Or let's say I had gone with platinum. Excuse me, with copper? Nice, big run-up for the day Monday, right? Go copper. So silver, copper. Let's say if it went with platinum. We could have bought platinum on Monday. Well, let's see what platinum did. Look at this monster. Big up day on Monday, right? This green bar. Big up day Monday. What if we had gone with palladium? Silver. Platinum, palladium, copper, everything exploded. But I decided I'd go with gold. Instead of taking the NASDAQ trade or any of the other metals, I took gold, and this is what happened. <laughs> I don't know what to say, kids. The market's always right, that's that. If the other metals went up, the NASDAQ went up, the one we chose to participate in went down. So we lost about 20 points, and then wherever your stop was, give or take, in the gold. However, on Monday, this is still for trading for Monday. We didn't get to Tuesday yet. We also had a Google trade. Now, Google, that trade was really nice because I believe in Google, we got in at around 13.57 this morning. Then got out around 13.82. I mean, 25 bucks on that trade. And Omni's bullish for Google again for trading on Tuesday. So now this is for Tuesday, May 19th. Omni's bullish once again for trading Google, G-O-O-G. And around 1370, I think, is where it can find its legs and work its way back up. We've got nice profit targets above if the 1370 to whatever area gets down to holds. But love the trade that took place, the Omni trade in Google on Monday. In fact, we made more points in Google than we lost in gold. But I have to say gold was a losing trade. All the metals went up except for the one I chose. Someone explain that to me one day, please. In any event, <laughs> so Google did work out. And for Tuesday now, we think Google looks really smart. Also, if you're looking at the markets, look at E-mini S&P for trading on Tuesday. For trading on Tuesday, May 19th, the E-mini S&P finally, remember the do or die juncture? We talked about how it went below this trend line just for a day. And the very next day, it went back above the trend line, then stayed above the trend line, and then held and went. So the do or die juncture, it decided to do not die, and here we are. Nice big fat day on Monday. Omni is certainly a buyer of dips in the E-mini S&P on Tuesday. And then you've got this. Mr. NASDAQ. We glanced over it before. 
or glossed over it, I should say. Now let's take a look at it. NASDAQ did the same thing. Got out of the channel literally one day because this day it settled inside the channel. Settled up high at the height of days. The next day, you'd had one day below the channel, Friday. Monday opens and boom, right back into the channel we go. Challenging the highs from just a few days ago. I wouldn't consider this a double top by any means. It could turn out to be one. I, I don't tell the market what to do. But I wouldn't consider this a double top because it's so quick. Very little distance in between the two spots. Maybe it will be, right? We'll find out. But I, I'm looks to me like with the strong green omni and the other indices looking so strong, I think the NASDAQ will just continue on. However, of course, Mr. Market will, will tell us that. I can't tell you. But I will tell you that the Omni is green. I expect it to go higher. And I will trade the Omni if I can get filled in the NASDAQ. So this is all for trading on Tuesday, May 19th, 2020. Please make sure you join me at livewithoscar.com. Come to my free live trading room. No credit cards, no nonsense. Just come to livewithoscar.com. Work your way to Omni Chat. And join me in my live chat room. You'll be in a chat room just like this. Generally, my camera is on at all times. You can see me in that chat room. It's off now while I'm doing a video. But usually I'm live, or the camera at least is live, and the microphone in this room so I can type and I can speak to you guys, gals, whoever's out there. So traders, come join us at livewithoscar.com. And remember to keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do all day on Tuesday and Monday night leading into Tuesday is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that Stops are in. Emotions are out. Rock and roll traders, I will see you all at livewithoscar.com. Be safe out there.